guys, what's up? It's me, Dave, and I'm doing Clash Real number 13, I'm pretty sure. But today we're going to be watching mostly replays. And yeah, so let's watch this. Start off with the Elixir Collector. Smart move. Uh, whenever you have it, and if you're using it. He has the P.E.K.K.A. down here, the Chinese guy. And he has the Musketeer. Uh, so, I don't know his strategy. I don't know either of them's strategy. So, let's just see what they're going to do anyways. And boom. Okay, so they run into the poison. That's a good move. That was really smart. Okay, just that mini package, free, uh, like, freaking taking everything out. Okay, nothing happened, and then boom, boom, boom. Okay, so the print, this guy has double princes, and yeah, that's all I know so far. One shot, done. Two shots, actually. Two shots. Guys, and if you didn't see the video already, I did make a new account for show. So, it's the same Dave Games thing, except it's an underscore, which is the line at the bottom, and then capital YT. So, go ahead and make sure you watch that. It'll be, the link will be in the description. So, yeah. And guys, if you like, if you realize there's no stuff on the side, if you're holding it sideways, just hold it upwards and then click the big, and then it'll, uh, it'll like big in it. Like you can watch it just holding it upwards, and then you can watch what I'm watching, watching again, and then it'll be cool, cool you. Yeah. That was a really good freeze. The the hogs, they will do a lot of damage. The princess will die from the poison or not. So the princess is focused on the elixir collector, takes it out. Easy peasy. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this content I am making. Uh, comment what you want to see and I might just do it. So the... Minion horde on the tower. Really bad mistake. If you do not take that out, it will lead to a fatal mistake. And yeah, you need to take that out probably as soon as possible. Also, the hogs, they will do damage if you don't take them out. Okay, so working his way to the tower. Will he make it or will he not? He will make it. Taking it really, down low, really low. What will happen in these few seconds that, uh, nothing's happening. Duh. Okay, takes out the dragon. What will happen? It's the age old question. Duh. Oh, almost takes it out. Will he spawns in the minion horde? What will he? Over time. He must be really, like, mad because it's not being over with. It's like, uh, Dun dun dun. What will happen? Don't go into. Don't don't end up in the draw, dude. Oh oh oh! And the guy from In the Light wins. Wow, what a nasty comeback. So let's hop into the next replay. So it actually didn't turn out to be a replay. I'm doing a friendly battle with Mr. Mongo, my clan, the donator. So let's see what happens. I have only splash damage besides the skeleton armies. So let's just start off with the witch. Okay. Okay, guys. Boom. Distract. Okay, crap. That did not work out. But the skeleton army did tip. So what we did was we did do strategic stuff. He got only two hits on us. And then we took them out. So, so far, our strategy is working and not working at the same time. We'll spawn in the wizard um, once we get a bit more elixir. 
and then we'll hopefully start a push. What really starts the pushes with this strategy is defenses. Like, you spawn in a lot of troops to defend a troop. It especially has to be a really strong troop, too. And it'll really help you, like, get the push. Because it, then you'll spawn in even more troops like this. I only use four elixir to defend, like, a nine elixir push. So, th that's also something, if you want to know you're doing good... It, like if you defend a certain amount of elixir that they use in a less amount of elixir that you use then you know you're doing well because well they're using more elixir and you're defending with less elixir so if you're defending two splash dam or not splash damage troops then use like the skeleton army or something or some like something like that will we take it out no we just got recently got level two witches, and yeah. Okay, we need to take out the hogger. Oh well. What? I didn't spawn it in. That's messed up. So we always have this fireball if we need it. It's throwing a wizard. Okay, guess not. We don't need that. But we do not need it. Okay, whatever. Took out, wow, three of the barbarians. Boom, one hit. Knocked him out with one punch. Man, oh, never mind. Oh, oh, will it make it to the tower? No. Take out all of those. Boom, boom. Got a nine elixir push going. Oh, no. Will we take out his hog before it takes out our tower? And the answer is yes. I'm being a lot like, I don't know what you'd call it. I, don't, I just I feel like I'm being like a different kind of YouTuber, but I don't know who. Okay, so if you want to defend the minion horde, my best defense, is, in my opinion, the best defense in my opinion is the... Uh, Dragon, the mini dragon is really good, and like everyone gets that at some point, right? All right. Boom! Fireball it. Skeleton army it. Ready? Go! Bam! Go! Or just splash damage in in like total. If it's a group of troops like minion horde or um, skeleton army, just use a splash damage troop. I got a really good push over there on that side, but we're not pushing that side yet. Or ever. Okay, the wizards, if you're distracting them, and you got the wizard down, the... Okay, we can use a fireball right here, and boom. Almost kill everything. Let's wait for that. Boom. Oh, and a rocket comes in. We suck up about 400 damage. Hopefully this can do damage to the <laughs> troops. Okay, kill it, kill it. Dang it. Okay, well, the fireball will. Boom. Or the bomb will. We need to kill his tower really fast. Okay, really quick. Giant skeleton. Whatever we can do. Oh, and he will take out my tower. GG, Mr. Longo. That was a good game. Almost two minutes of overtime. And we'll be back with another battle or replay. I don't know. So now we're against Steve146. I texted him before this. If you want to be in, he didn't see the reply. But now he's on and we converse him. So, good game. I don't know. So start, oh, it says, I forgot about this. He has an impossible deck to beat, basically. But since we have higher level troops, let's see if we can beat him this time. Woo! Kill out all of those, or most of those. Uh, oh, whoa. Uh, 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 those are weak. Starts and wakes up my tower. Oh, whoa, oops. Waste the four elixir. And we basically wreck his tower here. Oh, wow. I cannot believe that I actually did that. 
Okay, now let's throw the wait, wait, let's wait for his witch to come. We can one shot his uh, skeletons, and then boom, mini Pekka, it, boom, one shot, one shot though. That one shot though, boom, and take out his tower, son. What you got, C146? You can't handle this, but you probably can. I need to get some muscle. <laughs> So let's take out, uh, almost take out his Inferno Tower. Infernos are pretty good, so I don't know why I'm not using it, but this deck right here, it's good. I'm going to keep it. I Like, if I get new cards, I don't even know what I want to switch, switch them out with. So let's start off with the beginning strategy again, or not. Uh, well, we will turn the Elixir er, Defense into a push. There we go. He will spawn in something. Obviously, he's not stupid like me or anyone else. Or like I'm not saying he's the only smart one on the planet, but but he's not stupid, and I'm kind of stupid. Okay, here comes the Pekka. Pretty hard to take out. Especially whenever he has a splash damage and I can't use the skeleton army. Oh, fudge. He's really got me in some trouble here. Kill his Pekka. Kill his... Oh, just kill, kill. Wow, I am violent. I'm a violin. Just spawn in some troops. Get them low and k kill them already. Thank you, Prince. Someone's doing something right. Yeah, there we go. See? See? This is why I have the Prince in my deck. He's smart, unlike everyone else in my deck. Okay, let's spawn in my mini P.E.K.K.A. Get some hits on him. Good game. One of my first games beating Steve146. Really great guy. He's really good at the game. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you guys like to do. See you in the next one. Peace out.